you going, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, since Jay's gone to Darwin for the week, um, I was just thinking of ways I can still maintain this channel and make it active. So I thought, what the fuck can I do? Then I was looking around the house. Mm -hmm, nothing, nothing. Then I saw these little shits that have been here since Halloween. I'm like, hmm, it kind of looks like me and Jay. Hmm. I'm the one on your left, obviously. Um, so I'm like, hmm, why don't I try something new? I'm into photography. Um, this is somewhat of an art channel. Why don't I do a little digital composite where I, I take a photo of this, these two beautiful thingies and um, open them on Photoshop and put Mining Jay's face on them and make a little cool little uh, scene out of it. So yeah, um, I got my Canon 5D Mark III here. I'm using my Canon R6 to, fuck, I keep falling over. Oh. I'm using my Canon R6 to record um, just because this has slightly higher megapixels and um, especially if I'm going to be cropping into this, these little figurines, uh, every pixel counts. So yeah, um, and the R6 is better at recording video anyway. So yeah, let's uh, take a photo. Oh, sorry. Let me just uh, put some lighting on. Now they are gonna be backlit too. As you can see, there's light coming directly from behind them. I thought uh, in post-production, I can add some lights coming from behind them in the scene. So I wanna make it look as natural as possible when I'm taking the photo. Also, I'm gonna be playing with the white balance in camera. You can do that um, in post-production, but I prefer to limit post-production and do everything you can in camera to uh, just get the best results. So yeah, let's take the photo. All right, guys, I'm quite happy with that. Um, I'm not gonna take a million photos. This is just an experiment, if anything. So yeah, I'm happy with the one take and yeah, let's get to the post-production. All right, guys, I'm not the best at digital composites. I've tried a few and it hasn't really worked out. So this is really an experiment. So this could be a fail, could be a win. We don't know, we'll see. Okay, so I've located the files. So normally I'll pop open the files into Lightroom then I'll edit them in Photoshop. The latest Photoshop has a really cool feature where it can select the subject. It's not always that accurate, so we'll see how it does in this. And it's done a decent job. You can see it's cropped some of the hands. I'll just go and fix that slightly. All right, we'll go ahead and mask that out. All right, we've got our little figurines now. Now I just have to find pictures of me and Jay so I can put our heads onto it. Okay, so I found our Halloween pictures. Uh, Jay does have face paint, but I reckon it'll kind of look cool on his figurine. Let's picture A. Look. Hey, hi. Uh, you made an appointment for some fan seals? Fan seals? Yeah. Um, oh yeah, my mum. One second, sorry. Mum, did you, you made an appointment for fan seals? He's here. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, you can start in my bathroom? Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, just make yourself I'll have a look, see if we can Oh, no worries, yep. Yeah, yeah. They do need a replacement. So. Oh, that's my brother, <laughs> his pants. Um, yeah, so just that, that one. Uh, it's just in my mum's room, so uh, she'll wake up soon. Yep. Good timing. All right, guys. Yeah, so someone knocked on the door as soon as I started recording, so I'm going to do a commentary after I finish the edit. So I've just cut them out and stuck them right on Lightroom. Now I'm looking for faces to put on the dolls. Um, Jay's got a joker face, but that doesn't matter. I think it could add to the Halloween element. So I was just uh, cropping his face out, masking it out, placing it on the right doll. Then I was looking for a photo of me and I might as well use one from the same night, similar lighting, and I'll pop that right there. Mask out the 
original Halloween doll's face. I didn't have to do that. I just, it just helped me a little bit with the scaling. Um, yeah, and then try to fit it. I was, I was struggling a bit with the scaling of the face and the size, but we got there in the end. Thought I'd leave the cross on because that looks quite cool, doesn't it? Um, yeah, so this is about 15 minutes in. I was still struggling with the scaling of the face. I thought my head looked a bit bigger, but I put them side by side or laid them on top of each other and they're pretty much the same size. I think my head just looks a bit bigger in general, but yeah. So playing around with the coloring a bit of the face. It was too saturated. Got rid of the saturation. Now I'm looking for a haunted mansion. I was just gonna stick, stick us in just one photo that contains everything foreground and middle ground, but I decided, no, I'm gonna make my own foreground, middle ground, and background. So that's a true composite. Um, and these worked pretty well. The perspective and everything worked very well. <clears throat> I was still working out what I'm going to do with the sky. If I'm just going to layer um, clouds on top of the original sky, but I thought, nah, just crop out the whole castle. And I warped that. Yeah, I was having a bit of, bit of difficulty with the castle. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to pen it all out with the pen tool. I should have done that from the start, but I, just, I was just being lazy and I didn't want to take too much time, but you know what? To get good results, you got to take your time, I guess. So yeah, that took about a good five minutes. Not too long, I was just being lazy. Now I'm just blending it in, the background and middle ground. Uh, it doesn't have to look perfect. I knew I was going to hide any inconsistencies with um, like fog. That's a pretty good tool just to blend everything in, adding fog and that suited the environment. I was trying to work out for ages how I'm gonna make the castle darker. There's a few ways you can do that, but I was just trying multiple ways and see which works. Um, this tree didn't really cut out very well, so I left it there for a bit, but I was planning to change it soon. Now I'm playing around with the face and the bodies nothing looks good till you start adding shadows and highlights so at this point it was backlit because of the moon so i put the shadow coming straight behind them in front of the moon and yeah guys this is all new to me all shadows and stuff so i'm not perfect at it yet i know it will take a lot of time to practice because it's not something you can just do and expect to be good at it now I'm trialing with fogs, different color fogs. Um, obviously I put a bit too much fog, but I'll fix that later. Now I'm working out the face situation. I thought it's too bright. There's no main light coming. Where's the light coming from on the face? So I added an artificial light, gave it a nice orange just to make it pop and give it a nice glow. Add in those orange highlights just to make it look a bit more realistic. All trial and error, guys. All trial and error. I thought it's coming together quite well now, but it doesn't look like a final product. So Mike, we've got to keep playing around with it and until I'm completely satisfied. Now I'm just adding a bit of dodging and burning. The castle was too, still too lit, so it made it a bit more darker. Got rid of some of the fog, changed the shadow perspective since that new light source is coming from the right. And that makes it look a bit more realistic. Now I'm nearly done, just a few more things to play around with. The tree from before. New tree there, bang, just another different element to the photo or digital art, I should say. Um, there's too much light in front of the building, so fix that. Added a glow to the moon. A bit of a tilt shift, 
Then I added a nice photo filter to it just to make it all blend finally and I'm happy with the outcome. All right guys, that took just under two hours. A few interruptions. I was gonna commentate while I was editing but as soon as I started pressing record, someone came to fix a ceiling fan which is the first time in 10 years, so just my luck. Yeah, I'm quite happy with it, how it came out. I didn't know what to expect. This is probably my first composite, digital composite I've done so I'm quite happy with the results and sure there's a few things that need tweaking, I don't know, maybe feel the shadows but overall i'm quite happy with the outcome and it was quite fun um i'll probably do it again i'm also going to print it too on an a4 piece of paper um just so i can look at it in physical copy so all right i'm gonna get, give it a print so this is my printing setup and it's ready to print so those of you who are our patrons will get early access um uh, the support means a lot by the way it's nearly finished printing please let me know if you like this kind of video i would love to do more in the future it was quite fun quite it's like a puzzle at times um and yeah i can only get better from here so yeah stick around for the journey all right that looks pretty awesome not gonna lie It looks so cool when it's printed out. Now guys, printing out your artwork gives you a whole new level of appreciation for what you've done. Um, and just seeing the physical copy is so different than seeing it on a screen. And you can really pick out things you like, don't like. And although ink is quite expensive, especially with our printer, I do recommend investing in it just to, uh, yeah, as I said, give you another level of appreciation and just makes it that much more exciting just to hold it in your hands, something you've created out of nothing really, and now it's something. So yeah, give that a go. Okay guys, thanks to all our patrons. There's 22 of you beautiful, supportive people. It means the world to Jay and I, and it's uh, super helpful. We're not making a lot with monetization at the moment. We're working on it, but um, the Patreon definitely helps us a lot and encourages us to keep going. Um, you can buy our prints. You can actually buy this print. I'll put it on the store now. It's at www.allenjbrooks.com and voila. Now Jay's in Darwin for the whole week, so I don't know if there's gonna be a Twinny video. So we'll definitely see you next week and there will be more videos in between. All right guys, laters, hope you enjoyed. Woo.